I'll be showing you how to create a loading spinner. A loading spinner that you're seeing right now is mainly comprising of two main components. The spinner itself, as well as the loading text. I'll be showing you how to create both of these separately in a step-by-step -step guide next. An overview of the components needed to create the loading spinner. As you can see, we have two component set, the spinner set, as well as the loading text set. For interactions that we are using to create the animations, we are only uh, required to use the after delay interaction. These are all after delay. After delay, after delay. Okay, this is all after delay. It's the same for the loading text. I'm using after delay for everything. See, everything is after delay. Right. So it is really simple, but I'll still take you through uh, the whole process in a step-by-step -step process, right? So let's see how we can create the uh, spinner animation first. To create a spinner, you just need a circle shape. Click on a circle, click on anywhere. Now you have a circle. Hover over it while you are on the design mode. Hover over it. You can see that there's an arc. Click on it and just drag it inwards. Oh, sorry, drag it downwards. And then you see that there is a dot right at the center. Click on it. Drag it away from the center. All right. Right now, try to connect the um, circle together. You can see that there's two dots facing each other over here. Click on one of it and drag it towards each other. Now you have um, a spinner uh, in its most uh, primeval form. All right. Click on a circle. Click on fill. Instead of solid, we're going to have to change to angular. All right. Uh, for the first color, we can choose any color that we want. Let's say I would like to go with green. I mean, <laughs> go with blue. Um, for the second one as well, I like to go with blue. But I just make sure that uh, this part is 0%. All right. Now that I have this, create component. Let's uh, name it, I don't know, let's call it the spinner. And then you just have to create a four variants of it. Let's click the first, uh, create a first variant first. The first variant. And then uh, create two more variant. All right. So right now we have four spinner. Click on the spinner itself. You can see that uh, there's a rotation uh, value for this. For the first one, we're just going to set it as zero. For the second one, we're going to have to set it to 90. So just plus 90. For the third one, we need to set it to um, 90 plus 90. And for the last one, which is the fourth one, which is 90 plus 90 plus 90. I mean, if you want to have a shortcut, you can just do 90 times 3, right? You can do 90 times 3 to get 270 or negative 90. All right. So let me just uh, rearrange it a little. Okay. Right now, I'm going to link up all the spinner together. For the spinner with zero uh, degree rotations, I'm going to have to link it up with the spinner with 90 degree rotations. Okay, just link it up. Click on after delay. Change the uh, durations to one millisecond. 
As for the animations, we're going to have to change it to Smart Animate. Instead of Ease Out, change it to Linear. And you can keep it as a 300 milliseconds for the Smart Animate. Right? Next, we're going to link up the spinner with the 90% uh, I mean 90 degree uh, rotations to link up with this spinner with 180 uh, degree rotations which is this one all right so let me just link it up after delay one seconds smart animate linear right great I'm gonna do the same for the third spinner and link it up uh, I'll be linking up the third spinner to the fourth spinner. So the third spinner is uh, 180 degree and the fourth one is uh, 270 degree or uh, uh, negative 90 degree. So let me just link it up again. Repeat the process. After delay, one millisecond. Smart animate linear, 300 milliseconds. Now, because we need to create sort of like an endless loop uh, for the animations to happen, I'm going to have to link up the fourth spinner back to the first spinner. So the fourth spinner, let me just link it to the first spinner, all right? So this is the first spinner in my case. Let me link it up. Again, it's the same thing. After delay, one second, smart animate linear, 300 milliseconds. All right, great. So right now we have linked all of this up. It is always good to just check and make sure that the spinner is working as intended. All right. So, um, right. Let me just call this spinner new. Just to differentiate from the one I've created. Right, let's find spinner new. Uh, okay, great. Create a starting point. Let's call it spinner new. Showcase. All right. Right. Click on play. Oops. This is the previous one. All right. You can see that the spinner is actually working right now. Right. We are looking at spinner new showcase and it's actually working, all right? So now that we have successfully created the uh, spinner, um, the next thing that I wanna show you is how to create the loading packs animation. To create the uh, loading packs animations, it's pretty simple. Select on the text and start typing loading, give it three dots. Um, Create a component, create uh, three more variants of it. One, the first variant, second variant, and third variant. For the first loading text, highlight the three dots. Go to design, scroll down, go to fill, give it a 0% fill. All right. For the second one, select the last two dots, give it a 0% fill as well. For the third loading text, select the last dot and give it a 0% uh, fill. Right. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm trying to maintain the uh, width, make sure that the width for all of these different components are the same. Right, so right now I'm going to start to link up the uh, loading text together. Click on prototype. I'm going to link it up together like this. The first loading text to the second loading text using after delay. Give it a 1000 milliseconds. For the animations, I'm going to set it to instant. Second loading text to the third loading text. After delay, 1000 milliseconds. Instant animations. Third, link to fourth, after delay, 1,000 milliseconds, animations, instant, 
for the last loading text, I'm going to link it to the first loading text. Okay. Give it after delay, 1000 milliseconds, instant. All right. And we are done. So I'm going to rename the component. Um, just for the sake of these demonstrations, loading new. Go to assets. Loading text new. There we have it. Just to show you that it is working, um, I will have to give it a white background, right? Otherwise, you can't see it in the uh, prototype. So let me just uh, create a frame for it. Right, create a frame for it, give it a white background just to see that the loading text is working, all right? I'm gonna give a flow starting point for the frame. Uh, let me just call this uh, loading text showcase. Click on flow starting point. I'm gonna give it to the same name for the flow. Click on play and let's wait a little bit. All right, it looks a little bit small, so let me just make it looks a bit bigger. As you can see, the loading text animation is now working. Right, so right now that we have two uh, of the uh, component sets ready, the first one being the speeding uh, spinner anima animations and the second one being the uh, loading text animations, we can start to put both of them together to create the loading text animations. So we have created the two main components to create the loading spinner, the spinner itself, as well as the loading text. Uh, we're gonna start to have to put them uh, together to create the final product, all right? So let's do that. So let me remove this first, okay? Let me find spinner new. And let me find the uh, loading text new. Um, as you can see over here, the loading text right now is a little bit small as compared to the spinner text. Uh, we're going to have to try to make it, you know, uh, of sort of like a similar size just to make sure that the proportion is right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize my spinner in this case, all right? I'm going to select all my spinner, go to design. I'm going to make sure that the constraint uh, proportions is being uh, selected and I'm going to reduce the size to 50. All right, let's arrange it nicely. All right, there we have it. All right, right now it looks a little bit neater. To put the uh, spinner and loading text together, I'm gonna, in my case, I'm gonna use the uh, auto layout. So I'm gonna select both of these components. I'm gonna select both of these components, right click, add auto layout, right? For the space between the items, uh, I'm gonna give it 16 PX, right? Um, in my case, I make sure that uh, it is a vertical directions. Next, I'm gonna make sure that the, uh, that I center align the items within the auto layout. And I'm going to give it a padding of 24 px on all sides, vertical padding 24 px, horizontal padding 24 px as well. Right, right now for the frame, I'm going to give it a white fill, just to make sure that it looks a little bit neater. I'm going to give it a corner radius of 4 px. Okay, so there we have it. We have the final product. Let me rename it, final product. Let's see how it looks like, all right? Give it a flow starting point. I'm gonna change the name of the flow to final product new. 
and when I'm going to click on play, let's see how it looks like. Let's wait a bit. Hmm. All right. Seems like it is working. Let me just zoom in a little. As you can see, we have successfully created the loading spinner.